Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 3 of my Growing Together LP. This morning, Noelle is just eating her breakfast and then she's actually going to be heading off to her first day of preschool alone without Dawn. So Dawn will be dropping her off and yeah, this is a very big moment for her. Okay, so Noelle has just finished off her breakfast and it looks like Kingston has finished his breakfast as well. So I'm going to get them to... I'm going to get Daisy to clean him up. Oh, actually, I'm gonna get Cyrus to give him a bath. And also, Dawn still has her sunburn from the last episode, so I'm just gonna have to wait a few days until that just fades naturally. So we are now gonna go off to preschool, and of course, before we leave, Dawn just had to take some photos of Noelle's first day. We did take some in the last episode, but this is Noelle's first day alone, so, you know, she had to commemorate and capture the moment. Okay, so we are now at the daycare and Dawn is just talking to Alicia and she's sharing the news that she's pregnant. So she's getting Alicia to feel her belly. She is just telling her how excited she is to be a mom to three and how excited she is for Noelle's first day as well at preschool. And before Dawn leaves, she actually met this other mom outside the preschool. So we're just going to talk to her as well. This is Hallie Jacobson and we met her just outside the preschool when they were dropping the kids off. So let's just talk to her because Dawn needs more mom friends and yeah. Okay, so these two are just getting to know each other and yeah, they're just talking about how excited they are. Oh my god, wait, their outfits. I did not plan that. I gave them such like typical mom outfits, but their outfits are like matching. That's so cute. But yeah, they're just talking about Dawn's pregnancy right now and how excited she is. And Hallie is a mom to three herself. So, you know, she's just telling Dawn what a handful it is, but how exciting and fun it's going to be. And yeah, it looks like Dawn has just made a new mom friend, so that's exciting. And they're just sharing some baby photos right now, as moms do. <laughs> But yeah, I think it is time for Dawn to go, and she's just saying it was so nice to meet you. And Dawn is just saying bye to Noelle, and now she's just gonna go off on her own, and I think she's just gonna do some shopping and run some errands today while she waits for Noelle. So Noelle is talking to Kay, and I pretty much just want Noelle to make a lot of new friends at preschool. And these are the friends she's gonna have for a while, like through grade school and high school, hopefully. But yeah. Oh my god, she's so sad. Let's see if we can get Alicia to comfort her. Can she do that? We'll just soothe her, okay. <laughs> she already walked away. Oh my god, guys, look, Mavis is reading a story to Beckham. That's so cute. So it is now arts and craft time, so the kids are just going to be doing some drawing, making some crafts, and just increasing their creativity skill. I did mention this in my mod video, but the craft table and the toddler drawing supply is from Panda Sama, and this is from the creativity stuff pack, I believe. Guys, look at Noelle drawing with her friend. That is so cute! I can't wait to see how her drawing turns out. Oh my goodness, guys, she's done with her drawing and look at that. Let's keep this in her inventory so she can show her mom. Oh my god, and Amber made this little pumpkin and Olive made this paper bat. Also, guys, this is Olive. I'll get Noelle to talk to her so we can see her face. Let's get Noelle to introduce herself to her. But this is Olive and this is Hallie Jacobson's daughter, the one that Dawn just met outside the preschool. Okay, and while the kids are playing, I'm going to get Alicia to start getting their lunch ready for everyone. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll do two of, we'll do two of these. That should be enough. Okay, Noelle is now just eating her lunch and Dawn will be picking her up soon. Let's just ignore how late it is because I tried to get them all to sit on the chairs out here, but we only have a few of the kids sitting out here because it takes way too long. Oh my god, look at Noelle. She's sleeping next to her friend Kate. I love it. Okay, Dawn is now here to pick Noelle up and she's just gonna wake her up. So she's just talking to Noelle about her day. Oh 
Yeah, she's just giving her a hug because she missed her. Aww. Okay, time for them to go home. Aw, so we're home and Cyrus is just teaching Noel how to dance. And this is so cute. They're just jamming together. Um, what music are they even listening to? Oh, they're listening to retro. Okay. They're having a little dance party. Oh, and look at Dawn looking at her pregnant belly. Let's get Cyrus to brighten her day because she looks a little sad. Try to cheer up. Let's do... Let's do a belly hug. I love this interaction so much. They're so sweet. We are actually at the Jacobson household. It is the next day and Hallie is just introducing her little infant Maddie to Dawn and Hallie just invited us over so that, you know, they could go to preschool together and Dawn and Hallie are actually planning to go for a walk with their infants while the toddlers are at preschool and yeah, Dawn is thinking that she really wants to become friends with Hallie and I hope so too because it would be nice for them to know like a whole other family. Okay, we're gonna get Hallie to serve them some tea. Okay, Hallie is just gonna steep some orange blossom tea for them. And Cyrus is off to work, so we're gonna make him work hard. Okay, let's get her to serve tea. We're gonna serve some tea to Dawn. And then we'll grab a drink for ourselves. These two are just having some tea while they talk and get to know each other as well. How cute is this, guys? I love this so much. And she's just saying thank you for the tea and for welcoming us to San Sequoia. And Hallie's just like, of course, it's no bother at all. I would love to show you around the place more and show you all the good spots. Okay, so the moms have just dropped their kids off at the daycare and now they're gonna go for a walk together just around the neighborhood with their infants. And how cute is this, guys? Like, I can't get over that. So the moms are going for a walk with their infants while Noelle and her new friend Olive are at the preschool. It did take a lot to get the babies into the back carrier and staying there, but after all my hard work, they are finally going on a walk with their kids and this is just the cutest thing ever you guys should definitely give this a try if you haven't already i just feel like that's a really fun motherly activity to do oh my god you know what would be cute is if you got your dads to do this as well like a little dad power walking group i don't remember what that movie is called but it's like all the dads and they're walking in a line with their babies in the back carrier and yeah i just feel like it's giving that vibe if you do this with your dad so that's definitely something i'm gonna get cyrus to do but yeah this is just so cute guys i love this so much this is like one of my favorite things oh look they're walking past dawn's house And it looks like Noelle got a sentiment with Milo. It says, you know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more. I'm sure of it. That's so sweet. Oh, he needs a bath though. Meanwhile, Noelle is just listening to a story that Alicia is reading the toddlers while she eats. So we are now home and Cyrus is just cooking dinner for everyone while watching some late night comedy. And I actually wanted Daisy to get into knitting. So I'm going to get her to knit a beanie. And let's do a pink bear beanie. I don't know if I'm going to get Daisy to go to university. I think I want Daisy to be like a maker. And I might give her that aspiration, but we'll see. Yeah, I think I want Daisy to get into like knitting and cross stitching and all of those things and then, you know, selling them at yard sales and stuff like that. Let's get Dawn to do some activities with Kingston. And she's just practicing standing with Kingston. Let's queue it up one more time. And let's also queue up some tummy time. I wonder if infants will ever be able to walk because like 
why else is there like a practice standing option you know <laughs> now they're just gonna do some tummy time Noelle has had such a big week already. Let's get Dawn to talk to her. Tell her story. Oh, where did... Excuse me, where did Honey get that? <laughs> what the heck? How did he get his own serving? Oh, I think this was Noelle's serving that she initially grabbed and then she just left it on the floor. So, yeah, Honey's eating with them as well. And Cyrus is feeding Kingston. Let's see how he likes mashed mango. Yeah, he likes it! Okay. Oh, okay, he says Kingston was unsure. Well, he was smiling, so I thought he liked it. Oh no, he's already making a mess again. And these two are just talking. <laughs> Noel, eat your food. Good girl. They're just having their little family dinner. How cute is that? Okay, so Cyrus is just packing the rest of the Alfredo into some sack lunches for him to take to work. And let's just do as many servings as there are. Amazing! And now we have our sack lunches. Maybe even Noelle could take that to preschool in one of the days too. We're just getting Cyrus to finish tidying up everything. And he's gonna need to have a shower after this. Oh, also we had cupcakes out here, but... No one's really eaten them, so we should probably clean them up as well. I am just getting these two to read to their baby before they fall asleep, even though it is already morning. Oh, what? That's not a yoga mat. Oh my god. Since when was there a yoga mat there? I do not remember putting that there. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna get Dawn to apply a relaxing facial mask. So it is the next day and Dawn is just preparing some breakfast while she wears a face mask. Today we are actually going to be going to Kingston and Noelle's grandparents' house, which is obviously Dawn's parents, Rosemary and Saul. And we are going to be visiting the Torres family in Willow Creek because we're celebrating Kingston's birthday. He is aging up into a toddler today. I did not expect it to come up this soon, but I did turn aging back on and apparently he literally just has one day left. So we may as well just celebrate it today and blow out the candle for him and everything so yeah that is the plan we're gonna do that after sars comes home from work and noelle comes home from preschool dawn is just hanging out with daisy let's get them to talk to each other oh i accidentally pressed compliment outfit but she's just wearing pjs anyway let's gossip as well let's see Tell outrageous story. Brag about baby. Okay, so Dawn is just doing the gardening right now. Look at her complaining. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, Daisy has baby envy from other sim bragging about baby. Some people just can't seem to keep it to themselves, especially about their baby. Why are you being bitter for, girl? Maybe we should find Daisy, you know, a potential partner. Okay, Daisy is now just gonna go off for her daily jog with Honey, so I will leave those two to do that. Kingston is still asleep, as you can see, and Dawn is just finishing tending to her garden. So after this, I think I'm going to get Dawn to make some food to take for dinner at the grandparents' house. So we are now at our parents' house and for some reason Kingston is looking very sad, but we're just going to have a low-key family dinner. Just something small and intimate. Didn't want to, you know, throw a really big party. Dawn and Cyrus were just saying that they're going to wait till, you know, he ages up to a child to throw a really big party for him. And inside, Rosemary is just finishing up baking the birthday cake for Kingston. Oh, a new family dynamic jokesters. 
Would you describe the family dynamic between Saul and Daisy as being jokesters? I definitely would. I just feel like Saul overall is a jokester or a goofball. So that makes a lot of sense. Just to introduce you guys, this is Tamara and this is Daisy and Dawn's little sister. And she looks a lot more like her dad, but she does have the matching dimples that all the Torres women have. And we're gonna get Saul to put on some music. Let's get him to put on some Latin music, his favorite station. And we're just gonna keep the volume on low. Let's just turn this off because it's a bit loud. Guys, look at the cake Rosemary made. Isn't it so cute? We're gonna eat that after everyone has dinner. Wait, has she put on birthday candles? We have to add birthday candles so that no one eats it. Okay, amazing. That'll be ready for us to age up Kingston. And this is the spread. We have a tuna casserole, we have some ribs, and we have a garden salad. Okay, so everyone is gonna go grab their dinner now. Look at all the adults having dinner. Look at this, guys. I love this little family dinner. So cute. And this is all to celebrate Kingston, turning into a toddler, of course. And yeah, we'll definitely do something bigger when he turns into a child, but... I mean, we could have done something bigger, but I think I'm going to have a big event for Noelle, so I didn't really want to do two big birthdays, but, you know, maybe next time when he ages up into a child. He's not going to remember anyway, it's fine. Hmm. Good reputation. Daisy has a good reputation. She's become good friends with Rosemary. Let's get Cyrus to talk to Saul. Ask for blessing to marry. I don't know if we should do that yet with him. I don't know. What can we talk about? Share photos. Aw, Kingston's crying. Why is Kingston crying? And let's get Daisy to talk to Dawn. And look, Cyrus is just showing Saul some photos. That's so cute. They're just catching up. I love that. They need to build up their relationship. Oh, Cyrus is burnt out again. Wow, this job is so hard for him. Okay, well, I'm going to get Cyrus to take the rest of the week off. So let's get him to take a vacation day and just call in to his work already. So this is what their house looks like. It came with a save and I pretty much just redecorated the inside. This is the living room. I'll just give you guys a quick tour. This is like a little day bed area. Actually, while we're here, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have Noelle draw her grandparents over here. And this is Dawn's stroller. She brought it to the parents' house. And as you guys saw, that is the dining room. And then this is the nice little kitchen. I love how the kitchen looks, guys. It's my favorite room in the house. Decorating this house was so fun. And yeah, I am really loving the blue and green themes lately. And I've been doing that in a lot of my builds. This is a little laundry room area and it's in the same room as the toilet. And this is just next to the kitchen. This is also the little entrance area. That's what it looks like. And when you go upstairs, we just have this little study area over here and an easel. And this is what the bathroom looks like. I absolutely love the bathroom. I love that the bathtub is just hidden behind the shower curtain. And we also have a shower head over here. And that is what the vanity and toilet area looks like. We also have a multiplication timetable so that Tamara can work on her timetable memory while she, you know, goes to the toilet or whatever. This is what Tamara's room looks like. Dawn and Daisy always make fun of her because they're jealous that she was the spoiled child since, you know, their parents had her a lot later. She did get like the biggest room and it is decked out in some Henry Puffer merch. We have this wizardry experimental table and this Henry Puffer poster. We also have a Henry Puffer snow globe, a book collection and a, another poster over here. 
And the last room is the grandparents' room. And I don't know why Rosemary is sleeping right now, but she is. Let's just set the light to that. So this is what the grandparents' room looks like. It's just nice and simple. And yeah, I just love how cozy this house feels. And it really does just feel like a grandparents' home to me. Outside is just like a plain balcony. And yeah, I didn't really do the backyard that much either, but that's what it looks like. We also have this door that goes to the basement downstairs. And this is what the basement looks like. Kind of creepy in here, hasn't really been touched. And we also have a garage outside. I did leave the garage and basement the same way they were in the save file. And I also left the outside the same and pretty much just redid the inside. But I love how it turned out. It's just so vintage and cozy. And yeah, oh, this is so cozy. I'm not gonna turn on this fireplace because I tried playing before and then the whole house went on fire. Um, yeah, so I go into cast, I come back out and apparently the house is on fire. So yeah, there's that. I can't even put it out no matter what I do. Why can't I put out the fire? I literally had like three sims on fire at one point, but I just had it fucking paused. Extinguish the fire, what the heck? Oh my goodness. I can't believe that just happened. All I did was go into cast to, you know, decide um, Kingston's whole look. And I come out and there's a freaking fire in the house. And can I just, oh, guys, look at the floor. That is the aftermath of Kingston aging up. And Rosemary just went to bed because she just didn't want to deal with it anymore. So I'm just not even going to turn that on because I don't want my Sims to die. I'm going to get Tamara to help out by putting away the dishes. And let's put that away and put that away and just make space for the cake. And then I'm going to get Rosemary to serve up some drinks. We're going to do some wine. And then we'll get out the cake and we will have Kingston age up. So we're going to have Kingston age up, but because he's an infant, he can't blow out the cake. I do have ageless birthdays on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to age him up first. And then I'm just going to get him to blow out the candles just so we can actually see it happen. But he'll be blowing it out as a toddler because, you know, I still want to see him actually blow out the cake. And I don't like that there's no animation for infants to blow it out. Oh, guys, look at Noelle's drawing of her grandparents. That's so cute. They're going to frame it. We are going to frame that in the kitchen wall. Oh, that's Noah's drawing of her grandparents. How cute. Okay, the wine is ready and the cake is ready. So I'm going to have everyone sit here. Seat Sims here. I'm going to use the steady sit mod to do this. So we'll have Dawn, Daisy, Rosemary and Cyrus to take a seat. And then I think I'm going to have Saul be the one to like hold Kingston and Tamara's join them as well so she can watch. Hey, he's blowing out the cake. Yay, he's blown out the cake and everyone's throwing their confetti. So cute. And he's aged up and I will show you what he looks like. I'm gonna have everyone grab some drinks except for Dawn, of course, because she can't drink. And we'll also have Dawn call to meal for the cake. Oh my god, guys, look at Noelle and Kingston. They're so cute. Oh my god, Tamara has a loose tooth. She should expect to lose it soon. Wiggling the tooth and brushing her teeth can help speed up the process. Or Tamara can bite the bullet and pull the tooth out. Everyone's grabbed their drinks and their cake. Wait, I want to see Kingston eating his birthday cake. <gasps> Stop. Oh my god. 
Guys, Kingston and Noelle just sitting together. Why did she have to leave and ruin it? This is too cute. But guys, this is also a close-up of Kingston. This is actually the hair that got generated when he aged up and I just decided to leave it. It is a CC hair. But yeah, this is what he looks like. He's so cute. Also, I randomized his trait twice and he got the fussy trait. So I'm just gonna leave it. Cause you know what? It makes sense. He was like the biggest crybaby. So I'm not surprised that he's gonna be a fussy toddler. Oh, Sensei. look at Don and Saul Sensei. just talking Sensei. right now. Sensei. Let's talk to him. Uh, Boast about family. She is just so proud of her kids. Share big news. Let's talk to him about the pregnancy. <laughs> She's just talking about how excited she is about her pregnancy. <laughs> no, I was like, I'm not getting any attention. I don't care if it's Kingston's birthday. Oh my god, did you see him just glitch and disappear? Oh, look at Tamara cleaning up right now. Oh, let's get her to wiggle her loose tooth. I want to see what that looks like. Oh my god! <laughs> not the drool. Of course, I have to take a family photo with the Torres family in Kingston just to commemorate his birthday, of course. So we are just going to take some family photos with his auntie Tamara and his grandparents. And Daisy should probably be in this photo too, but this pose works better with this amount of people. So yeah. Okay, so I also just put up the photo in the frame so that I could finally fill them because they were empty before. And on the left, we also have a photo of Noelle because of course they have to have a picture of their first granddaughter. Okay, it looks like Kingston's complaining because he's tired. So I think it is time for everyone to go home. So that is what we'll do. Let's just have Tamara say bye. Let's do hug lovingly. Oh, that's the cutest thing ever. Did you guys see that? I can't get over it. Oh, I need her to do that to Noelle because that is too cute. Family kiss. And we're also going to say you are my favorite because I think Noelle is Tamara's favorite. She loves her little niece. She's saying that she's her favorite. Oh. New family dynamic supportive. Would you say Kingston and Cyrus have a supportive family dynamic? Of course. But yeah, I think everyone is going to go home now. Um, so yeah, let's all go home. Um, Dawn's busting down. So before she like breaks the bone, we're going to go home. Yeah, we are home and tucking Kingston into bed. If you guys recognize the sheets, they're the same sheets that Cyrus had when he was a little boy. Dawn and Cyrus already prepared and bought him this new bed set for his birthday. So they got him this little tent so he could feel all cozy and adventurous. And yeah, it just looks super cute and cozy. I love it. Okay, today we're also going to get Dawn to get an ultrasound, so we're going to have that done. And yeah, Dawn has been reading up on some different birth methods and she's thinking she wants to try out the water birth because she's heard a lot of other moms say that it was a really nice experience for them. So that's what we're going to go with for now. Um, and let's call an obstetrician because we also need to get the ultrasound, so... Let's do that, get an ultrasound. Okay, so Cyrus and Daisy are just sitting in the room with Dawn while she gets her ultrasound scan done. And I did say that we want to keep the gender. Oh my God, what top is she wearing? I did say that I want to keep the gender as a surprise so that I can decide if I want to do a baby shower just like a regular baby shower or if I want to do a gender reveal. So yeah, let me know what you guys might prefer. Oh, this is so cute. Guys, how cute is this? I love it. Oh, and Dom was just staring at the ultrasound with love. 
Okay, so what did he say? He said, congratulations, you're pregnant. Based on the ultrasound, it looks like you're expecting one healthy baby. Everything looks good so far, but we'll continue to monitor your pregnancy and the baby's development to make sure everything stays on track. This is an exciting time and we're here to support you every step of the way. Amazing. I'm so excited for her. And yeah, everyone is just talking about the baby and they're just really happy that everything's going well and she's having a healthy pregnancy. So her moodlets show that she's already in love from the ultrasound scan. Dawn can sometimes feel her baby looking around in her belly, but it's another thing to finally see them on a screen. Dawn is filled with joy at the sight of her baby and is feeling a sense of amazement and awe at the miracle of life. She can hardly wait to meet her child. Aww. And she is in her second trimester. So so next episode we will definitely be having either a baby shower or a gender reveal i just decided to keep the gender as a surprise because i don't know if i really want to do a gender reveal or if i want to just do a regular baby shower so we'll just see how i feel by the next episode but i'm very excited for her to finally give birth she's definitely nearing the third trimester but yeah i think we're gonna go home now okay so it is the next day and we're just feeding our kids we're gonna have daisy put the bottles of milk amazing and let's have dawn and cyrus grab a serving of these fruit crepes that daisy made oh they're just having breakfast oh this is the first time we actually had breakfast as a family except the parents always eat so fast and i also did put up the photo that we took with kingston and his grandparents and his auntie and we also have that photo of noelle from her first day of preschool i think i'm going to end the episode here guys i hope you guys enjoyed this one and yeah i just think kingston is so cute as a toddler look at him with his four teeth He's so cute. And yeah, now both Noelle and him are toddlers because they are pretty much only a year apart. So they are now the same age, but eventually Noelle will be aging up into a child. I love how close in age they are because they'll be going to school together and high school together most likely. So yeah, I can't wait for that. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.